Alright. I'm here with um Jonathan. I'm here with Jonathan. Hello Jonathan. I'm John. Um we're gonna keep it at just regular first names for our disclosure or whatever. But um hey, I may forget my first name. I may have a different name. But uh I'm just here asking about extraterrestrial things and situations that may happen in our 2020 lifestyle. Okay. Okay. Hmm. You a believer in that kind of stuff? I do. I do believe in extraterrestrials. Yeah. Have you always, have you always been a believer in that kind of stuff? Uh, like day one? Coming in? I felt like that I was brought in here by an alien mother. Oh. Mm -hmm. Dang, what, 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 what brought up that right there? I well, mean, you know, um, I, I believe that, um, my mother was an alien pretending to be a human because, uh, after I turned 10, she left. And so that's my belief that she's an alien. That makes sense. It makes it makes perfect good sense. Um, so if if that is your reality, have you seen anything to like clarify that situation right there? You know, she left and like what what is that what made you a believer right there? Well, that's not all. You know, I hear sounds in my house and I wake up with little scars in strange places or a little irritate spots on my arms you know i googled it that could be chips chips planted from aliens mm -hmm. no no type of mosquito bites or nothing like that you know well i it, know that's very plausible it but look, it look like a mosquito bite or not only that i've seen in it UFO. A UFO? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, how long ago was that? You know, was it like... We're in 2020 right now. Everything's... Everything could be getting attacked by aliens. You know, that's that's probably why I'm here right now. You know, everything's going crazy. and So, 2020 is pretty wild. But, you know, have you seen anything crazy? That orb that you've seen? Is that what you said it was? You, you, you made a circle gesture. Looked like it was an orb. Did you see that recently? Well, um, I have seen that a long time ago, which I had emailed you about um, before, but I have not seen it recently. Um, I've been keeping 10 helmets on my head to right now, so I haven't been really outside anyway. Yeah. That's all I'm you saying. don't want to be outside during this time. Yeah, especially anyway. this time. Um, have you investigated more of what you've seen? I've read the email. Uh, like I say, I don't really want to go and read emails. You can't even really be too too sure about opening an email. No, you can't. So, you know, I saw the subject and I read a little bit. And that, that was pretty much it. So, um, did you investigate anything else after that? Or? Um, I actually, I have. I've been um, listening lately on to radio waves. Um, local radio stations also trying to hear alien signals in which I have not found any. I sometimes go outside at night and check where the usual spot where I saw the orb, but no luck in that. So, yes, I have been investigating. So, were you with anyone when you saw that? You said the usual spot. What? Well, what? I don't disclose any names, but oh, okay. I was with an individual. Um, the individual did not see the alien or the UFO ship. And orb, 
I guess I'll keep it orb since I don't know specifically what ship, but the UFO orb. What did it look like exactly? It was blue, and it had a streak at the end of it. Like it was in motion? Yes, actually the second I turned around and noticed it, it sped up. So it kind of looked like a, a close shooting star? Mm. You know, a shooting star is maybe really tiny in the distance. But up close, yes, that's close. That's probably what one may look like. Mm. Alright, do you think you attracted this encounter, me? Um. You know, I know you I, said your mom would, you know, she laughed at 10 and everything like that, but, you know. You think that has something to do with well, it? Well, very well finding chips and strange cuts in my leg. That's very plausible that I was, that I brought this, but. Who knows, really? I mean, you couldn't pr possibly have brought it upon yourself. I mean, you said a cut on your... Oh, it's, a, it's always like a cut. You know, it'd be like an a little, incision. A little nice little incision, exactly. Mm. Mm -hmm. there, there's, there, is there any... I don't really want to show, show right now, but, you know, maybe later on we could probably take a look at that. You know, if you possibly don't mind. Okay, well, so... You do think you possibly that's that's really not your fault, you know. That you can't really say you attracted that. So I don't wanna put words in your mouth or anything like that, but do you consider yourself the one who attracted these things? Or that orb that came? Ah well, it was cruising it was moving slow as if it was watching. Hmm. But until I turned around and it accelerated, so I guess I could say I was. It was here for me. Did the person you were with see it? No, they had uh, was looking down, they were and, looking and, down, uh, tying their shoe or something, and they didn't see it in time. It sped off. Where did it go? It's, Behind it the trees, oh. but it didn't come out on the other end. Oh, hmm. oh yeah, that that right there is strange. Right? Have you talked to anyone about this? My, uh, I have a blog community. Uh, you know, I have a community. I, uh, we write blogs called the Eyewitness UFO. And we witness strange UFO sightings and we talk about it for various reasons. Okay, exactly. How long? So, uh, with that said, you really haven't moved on from this situation. Do you talk about it often on there? Uh, actually, I've quite moved on from that situation. You moved on? You know, I've gone to find other UFO or other strange encounters. So you I've, found other ones? No, I have not. In search of them? No, I am searching. I've got that. I've got that. Do you consider that person, for instance, you consider them to be normal? I don't want to pry in deep about them, but you know those around you. you well, consider them to be more normal. Normal people wake up and they go off places and they watch their TV shows and they go to work and they do their hours and they come back and they just do that. Maybe play with the kids and things like that. Get ready for the next day. Yes, I chase UFOs, so I guess you can say that's pretty not normal. Yes, so okay. <laughs> I guess. But hey, it could, like I say, with so much going on in 2020, it could be a normal thing. Possibly. For anyone. We are in strange times. So, with that said, do you watch any type of shows that have to do with any of that type of thing? No, I find shows very inaccurate. I don't like Hollywood. Hollywood's very Hollywood. I like to use facts and read books. And, you know, that's the only thing to me. Yes, or documentaries. No oh. Hollywood movies. Okay, any good documentaries you re you recommend? Or? These are homemade documentaries through my own uh, blog site, and you have to be a part of my blog community to know about these documentaries, and we're very exclusive. Wow. Yes. I tell you what, that that is the way to be in twenty twenty. That right there. So, that's your favorite shows to watch. You don't like Hollywood or nothing like no. that. You don't watch none of that. No, no, no. I don't. 
What about uh, games? You know, you playing any, playing anything? New? I like Sims. I play Sims Four. Sims Four. I like life simulation games. Okay. I find those are good outlets to get out your normal life. Isn't you know, play Sims. I could agree to that. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, that right there concludes our time for today, and um, I appreciate you sharing all that. So you wouldn't want to let me or anyone know about the. The secret website or anything? No, no sir. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you know, we can open that up and no. we find you. That is okay. Well I, I appreciate it. Okay. I appreciate this.